Hello everyone. Our work proposes a continued deepfake detection benchmark. In our proposed benchmark, the dataset are generated from 11 deepfake models, which is a high mixture from both known and unknown models. Compared to existing deepfake datasets such as GunFake and CoreD, our proposed CDDB dataset is wilder and has more diversity. The previous deepfake detection benchmarks are mostly stationary, where they fit in the deepfake datasets to the model all at once. However, deepfake technologies are evolving over time. As a natural extension, our proposed continued deepfake detection benchmark is in a dynamic setting, where we incrementally fit in the deepfake datasets to the model, and the early appeared deepfakes cannot be fully accessed. We designed three evaluation scenarios with different aims. For the proposed benchmarking method, we mainly focus on class incremental learning methods, which can be roughly classified into three categories, gradient-based methods, memory-based methods, and distillation-based methods. We did adaptation on the loss term in order to implement the class incremental learning methods under the scenario of deepfake detection. For the benchmarking results, we have three benchmark settings. Easy, hard, and long. They are used to evaluate seven state-of-the-art methods, as well as their adaptation. Overall, the winner is Detox, and the runner-up is Lukia. Among those three benchmarks, hard is the most challenging. And that hawks with 100 memory on hard achieve 86.38 of accuracy. It requests more effort for further improvement on the hard scenario. Here are some take-home messages. In this paper, we propose a standard benchmark of continued deepfake detection. It uses 11 deepfake model-based datasets, three benchmark scenarios, seven benchmarking methods, and achieve accuracy of 86.38 for the most challenging benchmark. Thank you very much for your attention.